I have spent my entire life, as you have, fighting for the good in this world. And for you to accuse a good person of not caring about human life, shame on you. Shame on you. Mr. Yeah, me again from the cheap seats. The uh, Standing Committee of Health had a meeting on February the 14th, 2024, discussing things surrounding how they're going to kill you. Or maybe we should say euthanasia. Let's have a look at it and see why the Minister of Health had such an outburst. Welcome to meeting number 102 of the House of Commons Standing Committee on Health. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. This is a wonderful way to spend Valentine's evening. I'm feeling the love here already. Well, look at that. Mr. Sean Casey, who is the chairman of the committee, has a cross on his forehead. Isn't that wonderful? A cross. He's a Christian. He's chairing the euthanasia killing committee, this will be good. This will be good. We have a Christian chairing the committee. We have all the hope we need as Christians to see a man stand up for Christ in life. This is great. Individuals no, who are trapped. Minister, Minister, Minister it's my time yeah. and my Go question. ahead, Mr. Cooper. Again, I, I, you, there, I go ahead, Mr. There Use are no legislative safeguards, none whatsoever, in the case of made for mental illness. All that would be required is for someone to have uh, the sign off of two clinicians, not even a, a, a psychiatrist, uh, not even a medical doctor necessarily. They're discussing how to kill persons who are mentally ill. No problem. That chairman, he'll speak up pretty soon. He's got a cross on his forehead. He's going to speak up. He's going to say this is not good. We just wait. So what are you talking about when you talk about safeguards? Because there aren't any. This. I mean, I, I, the accusation in the way that you're coming at me is if it's somehow I don't care about people you and their mental made, health. You made a very and specific it, claim he, repeatedly. I mean, so you're, you're being extremely aggressive with me and not allowing me an opportunity uh, to express. Mr. So I understand Mr. you have a political point. You see what the Minister of Health is doing suddenly? He's feeling attacked. He's feeling attacked. Dear me, someone like Mr. Cooper is trying to defend life. And the health minister, the minister of health, is supposed to help you, make you feel better, heal you. Anyways, that's what he thinks he can do. He is feeling attacked by a man who wants to save people okay. on the timeline take, take a uh, another 10 12 seconds on this question we'll move to the next good the chairman he's going to speak up i'm pretty sure he is look at he has a cross an ash cross on his forehead he loves jesus he he's got that cross there he's going to speak up True, and secondly, you won't allow us to enumerate the ways in which there are safeguards, so you say there aren't safeguards. The Minister of Health is talking about safeguards to killing people. You have to th think about this, people. He wants to kill people. Well, you know, he'll say, no, you can decide whether you want to be killed. No, he has the authority to stop it. I would simply posit to you um, that the uh, the eligibility criteria is extraordinary strict, that the model practice standards being... Oh, there's eligibility. Uh, <laughs> it could be eligible for death. My, Minister, my Minister, interest in my has time, been expressed. My time, and I would Go cite... Ahead, uh, and you're certainly cite, making it clear what your time is about, well, sir. Here, here's a fact. There was a survey released from the Ontario Psychi Psychiatric Association that provides... I like this guy. He's trying to stop this nonsense, although... He should stop it all, like try to stop all of this nonsense, which he's probably trying to do. I don't know whether he's a Christian or not, but he's making a valiant effort 
of resisting the Minister of Health. Kudos on him. Words, wrongful deaths. Why would Canadians believe you and trust you? First of all, my interest, like yours, is to protect life and to make sure that people who are suffering uh, get every opportunity um, to get the help that they need. He wants to protect life and for those who are suffering, give them all the help they need. And then I guess when you don't have any more room for the help, well, let's just say it, you kill them, right? Right, Mr. Holland? I know I'm in the cheap seats, I get that. And uh, I can't be there, but uh, maybe somebody will show you the video. Maybe somebody could pass this on to him. He's gonna act like God and kill people? What do we come to? Sir, there are no legislative safeguards. Well, you can what, say that. Well, I mean, I'm going to say I you're reject. Playing I, with people's lives. I reject that. Total, I reject it's absolutely that. Absolutely disgraceful. No, what is disgraceful is mischaracterized. He's rejecting the pushback. He rejects the pushback. Can you imagine where this will lead? But it gets better. Mischaracterizing my position mischaracterizing or mischaracterizing the position of any member of parliament, sir, saying that any member of parliament doesn't care about any human life is a disgraceful lives. thing that I will not tolerate. Well, and for you to you step into this committee and make an accusation of any member of parliament that they do not care about the life of another human being is absolutely beyond reproach, sir. I have spent my entire life, as you have, fighting for the good in this world. And for you to accuse a good person of not caring about human life, shame on you. Shame on you! This is absolutely terrible. This man, who's the Minister of Health in Canada, calls himself a good man because he is going to act like God and allow people to kill themselves. This is horrific. But then, didn't that happen once before? Actually, it happened many times before in cultures that did not want to have Jesus Christ as their king. Yeah, that happened a lot of times. Next up, we have Mr. Joe Harry, oh. please, for... He's going to speak minutes. up. Yeah, because he is the, the Christian there. Mr. He's going to speak up. Start with this. I, 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 no, he doesn't. Your outburst earlier oh, dear. was... Maybe he'll do it later. And I, I believe that uh, it was very... Uh, just waving across, but uh, find it um, doesn't have a tongue. You owe not only the committee members here an apology, but th those that were sitting beside you, if you could see the looks of shock on their face when you had your outburst, an apology. This is um, <laughs> it's very interesting. So the conservatives would like an apology. Now just listen carefully to these to the words of the minister. Okay, here it comes. First point, uh, I did become emotional, uh, and I apologize for that. I think that um, it's so terrible. Uh, I, I did you hear what he said? He said I did become emotional, and I apologize for that. He became emotional. I have never done this to a cast aspersions, and particularly to accuse a number, another member. He's almost perfect. He's never done anything like this before. Like, he's never cast aspersions on anyone. He's casting aspersions on every one of us that do not want to have this legislation because we believe that humanity is created in the image of God. And I would suggest that uh, Mr. Cooper uh, making a suggestion that I or any member of parliament doesn't care about human life or is, is, uh, is, is, is irresponsible is, and, is, and is something that at some point in time, yes, will elicit an intemperate response. Okay, so, so okay, so what, what is the standard that the Minister of Health uses? I'm, I'm completely baffled. I'm going, I, I just, I, I, we have to set uh, boundaries. Oh, really? Well, I figure the boundary that we really should set is that we should protect human life at all costs, not want to bring in legislation to kill people. Really, this is going way over the top. When God is gone, everything goes haywire. 
this is this is an emotionally charged debate. Um, I don't think anybody needs to apologize for uh, demonstrating passion when they're discussing this. I've been involved in this process since very, very early on, along with Mr. McGregor, Mr. Cooper, and others. You see, the Liberals, and I think the Conservatives in many ways do too, <clears throat> so you go ahead and have passion. Good, good. What they refuse to do is to define the terms and to give the standard that they use in order to make those definitions. They refuse to do that. And so, when you have no standard and you don't want to define the terms, you're free to do whatever you want to do. We saw that in the past with, uh, I better not say the name, YouTube might not like it. But uh, 